When you are working with formulas and functions, they're actually really pretty easy and pretty straightforward. I am using the project from week two. Um, I believe it was lesson five. Um, you were supposed to put the sum function in column E, the average function in column F, and then row 11 was supposed to be the sum function. But before we do that, um, just a quick lesson on formulas. So if you want to just add these numbers um, using a basic formula, you would start with an equal, and then you would click the first cell, then put in a plus sign, click the second cell, plus sign, third cell. And then you can press the Enter key. So there you have your total. And then when you have a cursor that looks like the thick plus, if I double click, it fills in all the other rows. So that's using a formula. However, the directions for this particular project wanted you to use functions. So the two functions that you were asked to use were sum and average. And there are a couple different ways you can do this. First of all, you can go on your home tab to the auto sum button. So first of all, you click the cell you want to be active. And then on the home tab, click the auto sum arrow, select sum. And you're going to see this range pop up. If that is, in fact, what you're looking to find the total of, you would just press Enter. And again, you can double click. And it will fill in the rest. These are all relative references. So it will change relative to the new row. The other way you can access sum is you, or average or any of the functions is you can type an equal and start to type. When the drop-down appears, you would double-click the function you want, and then just highlight the range that you want, and press Enter. And then I'm going to use the thick plus sign to fill. When it comes to using the average, I am going to use any of the methods I want to. I am just going to start typing. I want average, so I'm going to double-click average. Now with this one, you have to be really careful because with an average, most of the time you're not going to include the total. So you want to just include the three months in this total, and then you would press enter. And again, then you would fill it. I hope this has helped you with using formulas and basic functions.